Well, hi guys, and welcome to Alcan ADV. Uh, today we're just going to go through a little bit of what I did to get this KLR running again. Uh, I had some carb issues, which if you've seen my last couple of videos, um, I couldn't run it for a while. So basically, I didn't winterize it last winter, and so what I did, since my last video, uh, I had the carb out, I took it all the way apart, um, soaked everything in, I didn't have carb cleaner per se, and so I soaked everything in uh, the yellow bottle of heat, which seemed to work, because what do you know, it's running now. Um, hardest thing about this, for me at least, was getting the carb back in there. Well, getting it out was bad, but getting it in was even worse, because I have these SW Motec crash bars, and, and while they're great crash bars, uh, they kind of cover up the carb there, so they probably protect it pretty well, but it's hard to get in and out. So when I was putting it back in, uh, the big adjustment that I was going to do was the idle mixture screw. And uh, so when I got that in, and the recommended uh, position of a turn and three quarters out from closed, um, it was way too lean. It couldn't even start. And so I turned it out a quarter turn at a time until uh, it finally started when I had it two and a quarter turns uh, out. And I don't know if this is normal or what. I am right about, um, let's see, 150 feet above sea level. And so I don't know exactly what to make of this, but whatever, at least it runs right now. It doesn't feel like it's running very rich. Uh, so it's probably either my mixture screw is a little different than some people's or um, I don't know. But that's, that's the position that worked for me at least. I was going to uh, mess with the idle mixture some more, turn it out, turn it back in, um, try to get it exactly where it should be, and I still may do that, but as I rode it uh, a couple of days, it was feeling so good, and, and I was, well, honestly, I was just having so much fun riding that I just, I just didn't um, mess with anything. Also, um, I did part of the 22 cent mod. So what I did was I didn't want to drill anything, so I didn't drill my slide. Uh, I didn't lift the needle. Uh, what I did do was I took the spring inside that holds the slide down, and uh, I tied like two and a half wraps of the spring on top, tied it together. So the spring is essentially shorter. I tied it instead of cutting it because I wanted to be able to put it back how it was, and I probably will do that. Um, throttle response at first seemed a little snappier, but I think it was just because I uh, hadn't ridden all winter and so it seemed snappy. And the, uh, the, other, the only real thing that I can find that's different is that uh, on deceleration, the motor will not uh, wind down nearly as fast. And so uh, I can go and it doesn't have the engine braking uh, capability nearly like what it did. Um, not that it's a bad thing. I think I may leave my tie in there. I just put a little wrap of wire around it. Uh, I might just move it down to where it's not quite um, as short. I might go, you know, up another uh, coil or two on the spring to where it's not, it's still a little less, but not quite as far. Anyway, that's the only real thing that I did to it um, modification wise. So we're hanging out here at the airport uh, among all these gorgeous airplanes and there's a, there's a nice pacer over there. Anyway, uh, I got nothing, oh, there's a couple of bikes going by. I got nothing to do really uh, for a little bit except make a video um, and then I'm going to go up and fly some. So gorgeous day and we're supposed to get some rain either tonight or tomorrow. So good day to do it. Next thing I do is going to be replace this rear tire. Well, both of them really. These are 705s and they have probably a little over 10,000 miles on them. Front is still nice, still looks close to new, but uh, that rear is sure in uh, sore need of a replacement. So I have a pair of 804, 805s that I'm going to put on uh, as soon as I get a little time, which is funny because this coronavirus thing, supposedly every, everybody's got time, right? All right, that is it for this week. Uh, I hope you got something out of the video. Go ahead and leave a comment if you uh, have any tips on what I might be able to do to this carb. I'm thinking about maybe the 22 cent mod, but it's going to take a little while. I'm going to ride around like this for a while. Anyway, I'm going to get going here. Um, as always, you guys ride safe. Take care, and we'll see you next week.